hey it's Megan here back with another video so today I am going to be doing my June and July wrap up now this summer because it is summer I feel like I read a lot less in the summertime just because I'm too busy being outside enjoying the weather <laughs> that's really all I got so um, my reading has slowed down immensely so yeah let's get into the books that I read I read four physical books and I listened to one book so in total five for both months so the first book I have here is Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll now the reason why I read this book um, was because the movie had came out I did not end up going to go see the movie in theater so I am going to have to wait till it comes out and on um, DVD or on demand in order to watch it because I always like to read the book before the movies because for whatever reason I can never do it the other way around I cannot watch a movie and then decide to read a book and <laughs> I gotta <lose> her. <laughs> What you doing? Filming the video. Oh, okay. All right. That's why you want it? All right. Um, I'm hungry. What do you think this is? You got two pans and a feet and stuff and you can cook. All right. And we just ate Chinese. Where's my smoothie at? You are going to get your smoothie <laughs> after I film, you sucker. <laughs> it gets on my last nerves. Anyway, so yeah, I read it. I liked it. Um, got a little confused in some spots. Couldn't really, I got through it even though I wasn't extremely obsessed with reading it, but I was able to get through it relatively quickly. It is a very tiny book. Um, it's only 189 pages and it is not big at all. So, and the print is relatively large. So, it's it didn't take me long to read this. I would say I was able to read this in like two, two to three hours. The next book that I read was Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. I loved it. There's nothing else that I can say. I can't wait to start to read Crown of Midnight, which I'll probably start reading right after I start stop filming so yeah this was a good one um i heard it gets better as the series goes so i am excited to read crown of midnight the next book that i read was another shorty a little small one um james baldwin the last interview and other conversations this is definitely something that i think i would reread often because the points that he brings up in this is relatively relevant to today, surprisingly enough. So I am definitely probably going to read this again sometime in the fall because I went through and I read it and I didn't make any markings on it. I didn't do any post-its, but the next time that I read it, I'm definitely going to make some markings just so I can uh, mark the things that meant the most to me. But yeah, this was a good book. I definitely recommend anything James Baldwin, honestly. Um, the first work that I read from him was The Fire Next Time. And this is the second book that I have gotten from him. And I will continue to collect James Baldwin because he is an awesome author. The next book that I read was Fool Me Once by Harlan Coben. I love this book. This book was a um, suspense. It took a real live turn towards the end because you know like it was just so good like every time you thought she was like getting close to solving um, the mystery and basically uh, this is a story about a woman and her husband who gets killed in the middle of Central Park so it is um, in New York 
or whatever the case is. And every time she gets close to solving the murder on who who did it, some other type of twist adds. And then the end twist is like, what? I didn't see it coming. I was not ready. So this is definitely a good suspenseful novel. I would recommend this to anyone. Now, the book that I listened to this month or during June and July was The New Jim Crow by Michelle Alexander. Um, with all these things going on in today's world, I definitely wanted to constantly, um... You're really loud. Can you turn it down? You're real loud. Creep! <laughs> You're real loud. Can you turn it down? Yeah, I'll turn it down. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Right, concentrate. Okay. All right, thank you. You trying to concentrate on that game? On your game? Or whatever is not you. Whatever. You, yeah. Get out of here. I want to shut this because it wasn't shut. That's uh, why it was so loud. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So. Bye. Bye. Interrupt. And I guarantee he's going to come in here a third time just because. But anyway, so let me just get to the book so I can show you guys. Before I was rude to interrupt it. Interrupt it. So this is the book. Um... Like I said, due to all the things that are going on in today's world, especially with uh, the police, uh, these race wars, the election, just wanted to know more about the history of everything so I can better understand it, so I can help my son, who is a African-American male, understand this as well and know how to survive because basically that's what we're doing at this point but anyway um i definitely want to thank you guys for watching um let me know what you read during the month of june and july and i will see you guys in the next one. Oh, also my wrap up because i don't if any of you guys have watched my previous book my book to tbr for the book two -thon that happened back in July, I read zero books during that week. I tried, but then that week got super, 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 super hectic with life. So zero books got read. So that's why I did not film a book two -thon wrap up. Yeah, life, the way it works. But anyway, but I once again, once again, I wanna thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.